probably the saddest and certainly the most obnoxious thing that the pawn shop tabloids came up with about me was he believes Reagan started AIDS and he could have saved John Lennon. And for the situation with Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Obama, and David Jeff, and Penis Gabriel, and Robert Fripp, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, that wraps it all up. Paul McCartney is in command and control of the levers in the media market puppet shop. And it's completely irrelevant that most people that um, I knew nothing about the murder of John Lennon, that I don't believe it even happened. And that I have very good reasons for believing the Reagan was behind the AIDS attack. Just as I believe the uh, Lagarde Circle who um, put together the claim that I had something to do with all of that and poisoned me in the mouth when behind COVID. So what I'm going to do is discuss specifically in this video a little bit about why I think Reagan was behind it. When it first happened, I was willing to talk to anybody about it. I was concerned. I stated he might be being used. This might be behind his back. Turned out that all of the subsequent corroborations came directly from him. And that his attorneys to this day are the same man who had me in D.C. the day he claims he was shot. He came out and waved to me the night before. That's pretty much enough to believe something was going on with his head and with respect to me. Or the fear was built into the legend, right? I was a little boy about nine years old when they took me to see her. I was about 13 when they hammered me into a prison and sent in a big boobed girl to calm me down from trauma, crying, wailing, fear, screams, terror. And with their parochial scientific establishment, they proceeded to do a number of dungeon tricks. If you look at Woodstock, you hear John Baez yapping about Reagan. So I got the idea he was in, on the other side. He was the drugstore truck driver, man, the redneck, the two hillbillies who killed an easy rider. You know, he was from the other side, and the us versus them stuff. And oh, you should have heard the wailing and compassion that came tumbling out of Johnny Mitchell when on cue they established their storyline by pretending to find the Shulman letters which only so discreetly made their way directly to Yoko Ono while she was already preparing her response before presumably she didn't even know they existed. Ha 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 ha. And what do you know, here's a whole set of images that are telltale in Reagan's cinema. And it's a semiotical stigmata on Mikhail Gorbachev. Looks like a super production to me, sure does look like a super production to me. So what are we getting at here? little boy who was just a child was told that Ronald Reagan was the enemy. And then strangely enough, when they say when he killed John Lennon, behold, poof, he's the magic brilliant who's top sacredly the big belts run in the sky. The people who didn't mean it. And I'm supposed to play along with that while they rape my loved ones and kill some Kennedys some more and threaten everyone I know who, if anybody says anything about me, that's favorable, and poison me in the mouth, and all these other things. Because I'm not important. No, I'm not important. I'm thinking I'm all big. 
is how they play it. That weird enough for you? Surely you don't think I thought all that up. 